Scales are one of the most useful things if you play a string instrument. Everybody's kind of different about scales in terms of how important they find them, and you know, teachers are different in terms of how much they emphasize scales um, in lessons and practice, but I'm someone who really thinks scales are so useful for just getting to know the territory of the instrument, especially playing on fretless instruments. Um, it's so important that we really know the fingerboard, um, so I love to incorporate scales in all of my warm-ups in a lot of different ways. Other than the obvious part of working on your left hand technique with scales, um, scales can be a really good time to actually work on bowings in your respective pieces and repertoire. So I wanted to make a video to talk a little bit about one of the approaches that I use using scales to get to know some of my repertoire and work on certain things. I'll be demonstrating on my Baroque cello with gut strings and a Baroque bow, but you could of course do this on a modern instrument or really even a non-string instrument. This practice could work on anything. What I like to do is if I'm working on a particularly difficult bowing, or even if the bowing isn't difficult but just uh, prominent throughout a piece that I'm playing, um, I like to take that bowing and apply it to a scale. So let's say I was playing this dot sour etude, number five. And assuming I wanted to do a fast tempo, maybe I'm struggling with the triplet bowing because every other group of three is going to be an opposite bow direction, which is a common uh, challenge from triplets is that we have to end up playing each grouping of notes starting either first with a down bow, then an up bow, then a down bow, and it can be kind of hard to organize ourselves uh, with these bowing challenges. So what I might do for something like this is practice a triplet bowing on a scale before I get going with the piece to feel like I really have a good handle um, on that bowing. So what I also like to do is take the key from the piece. You can also use the bowing um, throughout different keys and scales, but it helps to take the actual key from the piece and the bowing that you're working on and then make a little exercise out of that. So looking at this dot sour etude, I would take the key of A minor and some eighth note triplets, and then I would play a scale through that way. So I'll show a little of what that would look like. So by going through it this way, I don't have to stress too much about actual notes and musicality. I can really focus on just going back and forth with my bow, making sure that that triplet bow stroke feels comfortable. If you are working on Baroque repertoire, one of the really common bow strokes that you'll see is separate bow 16th notes. So um, I really like to take this bow stroke and work on it, especially because it can be a little tricky on gut strings to get a good sound on this stroke. Um, but for anybody, when you have separate bow 16th notes, that's a really good thing to work on in scales too. So if I were looking at this Vitali Bergamesca, I would take the key of C major and work on a separate bow 16th note stroke. <laughs> I generally like to do the repeated notes because that way I don't have to stress so much about left hand and I can really focus on getting the bow stroke under control and sounding really good. But if you want to up the ante, you can always um, move along into the other notes of the scale faster in that same rhythm. <laughs> Throughout different repertoire, you're going to find so many different bow strokes, different combinations of slurs and separate notes, maybe extra up bows. Um, there are a lot of bow strokes, even if I don't have a specific piece I'm referencing that I like to do in my scale warm-ups um, that I might do a separate video on. But look to your repertoire, and anytime you see a bowing that is prevalent, that you're getting repeated over and over again, find a way that you can apply it to a scale um, or you know some way that you can really take it out of the music and work just on that bow stroke. Um, if you're getting used to gut strings, it's really handy to do that, but if you're just playing on steel strings, it's still really great to get in touch with how we're doing our bow strokes and how effectively we're making that work, and scales for me are a great way to practice that. I hope you found this a little useful. If you have some ideas on how you practice certain passages or what you like to use scales for in your warm-ups, uh, be sure to leave that in the comments because I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I do three to four new videos every month. If you'd like to help support me in the production of these videos, you can become my patron on Patreon. See you next time.